Now, um, we've got these, these four done. You're going to want to work opposite sides. If you've ever put a wheel on a car, you want to work, you know, opposite to opposite, you know. So we're going to do this side, and then this side, and then we're going to do, since we went this way, we're going to go this way, and this way. So, um, I don't think it really matters which end you're going at. For me, you know, I've, I haven't really noticed a difference in what it'll, what it'll do. Give it a go. Try these, give these pliers a go. There's that. If you don't mind, you don't mind the show. It's, it's really smooth right here. And then when you're applying the staples, you only, you only want to go as far as here. Maybe not even that far, just like right here. Because it, it's once once you get past this tension, it lets loose a little bit, and then you're not getting as much tension on onto the inside of the canvas that what you need to do. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, two or three staples along along the ledge, just you know, because I, I prefer to have it on the ledge. Uh, so there's two, I'm not passing that, so that's good. Then we're gonna just keep doing that going on. If you need to, tug, tug on this corner. Pull it this way. And that's what will keep you clean. Then just like doing that a little bit and then getting this going. You're making sure that you're getting tension going this way and this way by doing that. Only as far as my finger. Again, and this this isn't as easy. It, it takes a while until you get a feel for it. To do it by hand. There's that. And there. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of this loose, and, and I'll get to that later. Why? It's it's very important that you do. Uh, if you're stretching along with this video, I'd, I'd definitely tell you to wait now. To see the see see where you're, where you're going at the end. All right, so I did this side. So now I'm gonna go this way. Same thing, no big deal. I like to start off with the pliers, anyways, because that gives me a good little start. <coughs> and let's do it again. Tighten there. This way and this way. You don't always have to do that but I like to be safe. Three, probably do one or two more. We'll just do one. Okay, um, so we did this and that. So I'm going to go right here. Now you're getting this is this is really tight, you know, it's pulling that way. That's why like if you just do like like here to here to here, it's going to be all over the place. By the time you get to this corner, you're going to have no canvas to be able to pull around. Um, it just gets kind of annoying. Sometimes I just go without it, but it's it's there for a reason. Understand why after you've done it a little bit. Like that I got some ribbons going on on this side, so I'm gonna pull it a little bit. That'll be good. It's definitely shorter, so definitely I'm not gonna do as many going along. And it's it's all custom. It's all what you what you got to what needs to be there. N nothing set in stone. So I'm gonna go that far. That's good. Um, I gotta get some more staples. All right. Um, I guess I forgot. Some people aren't gonna know how to do this. So here's the easy explanation. This goes in and out. It slides right along the edge. So push it in. Lamp, like that. And then you push down, pull down, pull out. Take these, 
and they go right along the two inside um, <clears throat> runs of metal, right? And then you're just going to slide it in, let it fall in. Shouldn't mess up or anything like that. Make sure it's good and solid. You don't want to you want to put a bunch of pieces in there because it'll jam up and mess up on you because there's a lot of tension going on in here. It's a long spring. So you just put it, push it down. You know, you can be rough with it. You're not going to break it, really, I don't think. Um, and then there you go. All right, so we did that. Side got this side. side. We're going to go over here. <clears throat> so right here. <clears throat> okay. And again, do the pliers. These come in handy. They'll save your hands, especially if you want to be a lifetime painter, or it would be a lifetime canvas stretcher, then it's best not to wear them out. Same thing, not going past here. Just make sure, pull it on the side. And there's that. Okay. They're not always going in, but the other thing works as a hammer. Okay, um, so we're just going to keep working around. Wherever your canvas is tightest is where you should go next. So you got room here, got room here, got not as much room here. That's because we stretch on this side, so it's pulling the canvas around more over there. So not as much there, not as much here, not as much here, plenty here, plenty there. So um, this has the least, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Make sure I get everything. So you don't you don't want to end up short because then you got to start all over and you probably got to throw your canvas away. Not always, but there's no point in risking it. One, two. You don't want you, you want to overlap a little bit because you don't want to leave like a negative space. You want to you don't want to do this and you end up with that. It's going to show on the side. One, two. That's good. I want to work backwards because I have less canvas on this side. Same thing. Nothing crazy. Do you have a good shot of me doing like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Spacing is really up to you. I mean, you can see it's not completely uniform. Some people put them right on top of each other. I like to give a little bit of space in between because it's a little bit more organic. I'll show you this point. It was all wrinkly before. Now we're looking pretty, pretty straight. You know, I really shouldn't keep my canvas wrinkly, but for this purpose, it, it works to show you're really getting it tight. It's going to be like a drum. Um, not like your store-bought canvas. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like this, loose, as I've got it in the corners. But I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, I haven't even got it all done, and it's already pretty tight. You know, that's when you know you're doing a good job. 